Yahusha heard that over oh, that. But he says, But go ye, but go ye and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy and not sacrifice. For I'm not come to call the righteous but sinners to repent. Hey, read that last part again. What do he say to about the sacrifice? It says, But go, but go ye and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy and not sacrifice. Okay. I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repent. All right. All right. Yeah, because we have, it's like us out here looking for other right. other brothers that already know the truth. Yes. Yeah, you know what I mean? Cause, <laughs> that's what's the point. Because we out here to find people who don't know nothing. You know what I mean? Because people be asleep. You know what I mean? They don't know nothing. They don't. I mean, they don't. Like you got to ask the average person what's their nationality. No, I want American. Or they give you a color, they'll say they're black or white. Like that was a nation. The yeah. nation of black and yeah. the nation of white. Where the hell is the, where's the land of black? The land you know of black. Oh yeah. I was gonna look at that. Yeah, these fools, they don't know no scriptures. And we know all the scriptures. They, they, people always act like they know the Bible. They don't know the Bible. Yeah. Well, that scripture says that they, uh, they have a form of godliness, but when they their works, yeah. all broke bait or some shit like that. Not shit, but you know what I mean. Right. I mean, they get they they lose their mind if you hear you say shit. Yeah. They'll lose it. Yeah. yeah. Like you're gonna go to burning hell. That's that's an excuse. They trying. That's 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 all they got. Hey, we can use whatever words you need to use to get your point across. Yeah. You gotta speak the language of the people. Yeah. Actually, when you do the research, Paul was saying curse words in Greek because the Bible is in Greek. When you do the research, Paul was actually using actual cuss words. Sorry. The Greek cuss words, but you don't you don't know what they are because you don't speak Greek. You know what I'm saying? If you talking to a little ass kid, you're not gonna be talking like all intelligent. You're gonna you know kind of dumb it down a little bit. Yeah, you know. Yeah, dumb. That's why you using cuss words that dumbs it down to an easy to understand level. Like you get out the fucking street, you about to die. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, oh shit, I gotta get out the street. <laughs> they listen real quick. Yeah. So that's how that's how you do it with the truth. Cause we get, it's a warning, we give it that warning. You know what I mean? It's a, hey, you, hey, you see that earthquake in Mexico? Yeah, second that one too. It was too. amazing, it was beautiful. All the buildings were crumbling. It People just, were screaming. It just had an eight point something, then it had another one, seven point whatever. I hope an earthquake hits Columbus. Oh yeah, yeah. Swallows yeah. all this shit up. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. By my job is a uh, big ass sinkhole God downtown. Damn. Damn, hey, they got a big ass sinkhole could just suck suck up the building. Yeah. You be driving home from work and get sucked <laughs> up by a sinkhole. That sounds nice. Hey, that's in the Old Testament. Moses. Uh, remember Corey and them was yeah. talking trash against Moses. They was like, we about to take Moses' job, and it swallowed up into a hole. I'm gonna get that <laughs> next. Hold on. Getting in the spirit now. That's all you do. Got a weird vibration on this motherfucker. Oh, here's a good one. Look. This is a good one right here. Matthew 21 and 32. For John, John the Baptist, right? For John came unto you in the way of righteousness, and ye believed him not. But the publicans and the harlots believed him. Mm. And ye, when ye had seen it, repented not afterward that ye might believe him. See? So y'all, so like, where was that, Matthew 21? So like the lowest of the lowliest people are gonna get saved before a lot of these leaders. Yeah. A lot of these, you know, people think they leaders. Like IUIC and all these church people, all these mega church pastors. But you know Joe Osteen's full of shit. Yeah. But a lot of people don't, he be packing them in. He got the, like the biggest church in America. Yeah. So baby. And they just give him that little love, lovely, happy little story. Don't get bring no scriptures out. Look at Joe Osteen. Nigga, weird as hell. He smiling and shit. He just looked like a child molester. Yeah. He looked like a devil worshiper. No beard. Shit. What's up, buddy? I'm gonna get that scripture up in numbers, bro. I'm gonna pray to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. He started sucking people up in the holes. Okay. He destroys them with an earthquake. Oh, you see Puerto Rico about to get blasted. Oh, 
with a hurricane. You see oh, yeah. that? Oh, the whole motherfucking... The whole but, goddamn island. Yeah, the whole island. They said if you were in a wooden house, you are not safe. Hey, the whole, the, all, all the whole fucking island got no electricity. That's good. They say, you know they about to hey, eat each other. You know, they some murderous people, too. Because yeah. as soon as that electricity goes out, people's robbing, looting, stealing, raping, women getting raped, people getting jumped, knocked out. Shot. Jewelry took it. Not too long ago, like a couple months ago, Brazil, the motherfucker, uh, was it like a comedy, something about the wrong with the com uh, comedy, whatever. Fucking gangs, gang members just riding down the street, shoot random people and That's shit. That's crazy. Shit. Them actually shouldn't be walking down the street anyway. Americans are some savages. People in America are savage. So when that electricity goes out, and there ain't no food in the stores, it's gonna be sad. You see how bad it is to drive, and how people are selfish. How the freeway is packed. We're gonna be letting nobody over. And America's the every man for himself country. It's every man, ain't no, ain't no brotherly love out here. They're, so when the lights go out, with the lights, they gonna go out. It's gonna, it's gonna get wild out here. It ain't gonna be safe. And there's a lot of guns in this country too. That makes it even more beautiful. Yeah, they gonna get it. It's not, huh? Go fucking eat them ice and shit. They gonna get it. Hey, just think of Venezuela ain't got guns like us. So we got the most guns in the world, bro. So when the economy collapses, ain't no food in the store. It, it's gonna be pure savagery out here. It's gonna be like The Walking Dead. It's gonna be worse. It ain't gonna be no, them zombies can run, you know what I mean? And they got guns. <laughs> That's gonna be beautiful. What do we gotta get? The oh, numbers. Yeah, the Let me see if I can, uh. uh Sunken hold place. Up. Uh -oh. Sink your ass. Uh -oh. Sink your ass in the hole. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I don't know, I know it's the numbers. Number like a billion scriptures. Oh shit, I'm a terrible camera guy. That's alright. <laughs> They're looking like that. Right. Damn, nigga. Man, it's like a billion scriptures. Hold up. This is a scripture fail. Just bear with me. What happened? Oh, there it is. I got you. Oh, okay. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Talk <laughs> to him for me. Sorry. Just fade off and shit. Oh, I don't know. Hey. I want to get this scripture. Look. Ah, oh, man. Oh, shit. I was, driving, well, I was walking down Cleveland one time. My fucking, like, the little street lights is off. That shit looks, that shit looks sexy, man. It looks crazy. Like, it looks beautiful. It's my eyes. I don't know. What's that? When I was walking down uh, Cleveland one time, the street, the street, the street lights was off, whatever. It was dark as fuck. You can't see shit. It's that damn dark. Imagine all this, every single motherfucking store. Oh, shit's blurry as hell. What's that called? An e e e e m p attack? All these cars just stop. Fuck these people gonna do? Ain't nobody gonna be no brother in that day. Yeah, no, shit, I ain't. Right shit, I ain't gonna help them motherfuckers either. Shit. I was just at the gas station up in the hood and fear of my life. Shit, fuck it. Shit, blurry as hell. Everybody just mean mugging you. Yeah. Just watching you. You say hi, they don't even say nothing. They just keep staring. Yeah, like, goddamn nigga. I'm gonna ask somebody what you're gonna do when the economy crash. No food in, in the shelves. What's up with you? You work? You stay out? You go to college? Oh, no. Or you stay out this way? Uh, I stay over uh, in Gehenna. In Gehenna? God damn. Yeah. The hell? Man, you just be out there journeying, huh? Yeah, I stay, I stay out that way. I'm in Whitehall. I'm gonna find this scripture. What's that? You box? Yeah. Where you box at? We box at. We box. We box at. We box at. There's a lot of white people down there. Huh? There's a lot of white people down there. No. There's right? a couple of white guys, but there's a bunch of black people. Wait, what you said down there? You be boxing with dudes? Crazy. Oh, that's fun. I mean, I wanted to get back into I used to do boxing. You think you could beat me? Uh, you, you can beat like, his ass? <laughs> <laughs> probably. She <laughs> said probably. Oh, hell no. I mean, I'm always down as far. Oh, you got some shoes I on? Oh, I, was oh, I thought they were boxing no, shoes. No, these are... I, I'm, like, training, so I uh, run. Just you running. just, like, beat me. Well, you just started? 
Oh, I spent like two, three months ago. So they beat people up. Yeah. I haven't started fighting yet. But... How much is the, uh, the, the, whatever the fuck? Fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. Twenty. For real? For like two, for like two bucks. Oh, I got it. Damn. I'm gonna go up there. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be up there too. <laughs> I gotta get back to the box, man. I'm you. You got it? Yeah, oh, this is the best scripture ever. Hold up. You ain't ready for this one. Think, <laughs> oh, what's up, man? You look discombobulated. How you say it? Discombobulated. What the hell is that? What the hell? <laughs> Alright, number 16. Oh, you got it? I should have known that. I done took out half the damn. Yeah, goddamn. Half the video looking for a scripture. It's worth it, though. Yeah, we just crazy. We like to go outside and teach the Bible. <laughs> yeah, we love. What's up, man? You, you believe in the Bible. You got your little Bible, don't you? Your little Bible, Bible, Bible. All right, what's about to get? Number 16 in the... It was like 16 doing, or something. I got this, man. Yeah, damn, you still a friend? Yeah, I got it. God damn. Thought I had I'm going to Google search that motherfucker. No, I have it. I just forgot what number it was. I'm in the like, chapter. I ain't mean to call, I ain't mean to call it You good, you good. I know how to be. Oh, here it goes, look. Number 16 and 30. It said, but if Yahweh, you know the most high's name? Anybody teach you that? Where'd you learn the Bible from? So, I mean, you watch anybody on YouTube or whatever? Yeah, sometimes. But it is good to have teachers. We learned from uh, Great Millstone. You ever heard Great Millstone? You never heard of him? GMS. It's online? Yeah. Great Millstone? Yeah. It, why, you know you an Israelite? You said you know you an Israelite. Am I? Yeah. Why you saying You didn't know that? You got a Bible, don't you? <laughs> what does the Bible say? Hold on, let me read this first. I'll show you this. Uh, numbers 16 and 30. But if Yahweh make a new thing in the earth, oh, shit. open her mouth to swallow them up with all that appertain to them, and they go down quick into the pit, then you shall understand that these men have provoked the Lord. <laughs> and then it came to pass, as he made an end of speaking all these words, that the that the ground clave asunder that was under them, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up. Have you ever said the Lord shall make a new thing? And it said, it said then, and then all that appertained to them, I actually, I skipped it, didn't I? Yeah, and the earth closed upon them, so like you. That damn music was messing up my focus and concentration. It's a hearing that man bullshit. Over there. Huh? Man right there. This, this place is uh, creepy. Oh, uh, shit. Damn, you keep oh, We got to focus. They, and all that that pertain to them, went down alive into the pit, and the earth closed upon them, and they perished from among the congregation. Yeah, these are all the people that was talking trash, saying, Mo, we tired of hearing Moses. God is out here in the wilderness. No, we got no kind of good food. You know, they just constantly complaining. Complaining. They, you know what I mean? Thinking they could be a better general, they could fight better. Man, the Lord killed all of them. He opened up the earth and just swallowed them up. And all Israel that were around about them fled at the cry of them. They was crying. You just see these in the phones and like, screaming for yeah, their lives. Yeah, like little That'd bitch. be an awful sound to hear. You know what I mean? It sounds terrifying. They're like something worse than a horror movie. That's what the Most High did to them. The Most High ain't playing. And all Israel that were around about them fled at the cry of them, for they said, Lest the earth swallow us up also. <laughs> so, so. And they, yeah, so you should look at that, that damn earthquake in Mexico City. Because the Mexicans are Israelites from the tribe of Issachar. But they're wicked as hell. They ain't all kind of, uh, all kind of, they're all Roman Catholics. The Lord jacked them up. Now they all gangsters. You know, what they call them, banditos, drug dealers. They're some murderers. Man, this shit is annoying. Look. I hate Guns N' Roses. Guns N' Roses. Roses. They still listen to that shit. 
And they still listen to this. Oh, what the shit. fuck that is? The same it's shit. Man, some shit. Guns and Roses. Hey, that was a point on that one. I, I was gonna get uh, get that scripture by Israel. But the Lord said He only came for Israel. That's a fact. It's a fact, verifiable Jack. fact. What if I take this off? It's like distracting me. Oh, I go can, ahead. I have my hand. I don't know how to do it. Uh, just turn it around. Ugh. I have my hand. I'll be more stable. Oh shit! Hold this. Come on. Uh, hold on a second. I'll find it. Slaves told me Yeah, they were slaves in Egypt, right? Yep. In America, the modern day Egypt. Two slaves now. The scripture said that uh, we'll get that next. The scripture said you go back into Egypt again. There's a prophecy in Deuteronomy 28 that said that Israel will go back into Egypt again in ships. But we know they won't need it. That was in Deuteronomy 28. But we know that never happened in history. You don't need ships to go from Israel to Egypt. Either. You just walk. But we can get that too. But we get this. Matthew 15. Oh, shit. It's too dark here. Yeah, Revelation 11 says this is spiritually called Sodom, Egypt. Yep, Revelation 11, yeah. But Matthew 15 and 24, it said, when this is all you know, red letters, it says, But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. What's up, bro? So, uh, <laughs> so got it. very creepy shot, my bad. You said what? I don't mean to keep walking back and forth from your shot. Oh, you good, you good. But, yeah, the Lord said he only came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You know what I mean? He said lost sheep because Israel scattered among all nations. And the one they called Jesus, he was the so-called black man, too. He wasn't a white man. So, and originally, all the Israelites were dark-skinned. So, uh, that's why so-called black people in America, they're Israelites. Okay, that's why I said you're an Israelite. But that's why the Lord said, but he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That means he only came for Israel. If you don't believe that, I'm going to get a bunch more scriptures and say the same thing. He didn't come to save all nations. The Lord didn't come to save Hamites, no Edomites. Everybody got a biblical identity. Like now that they got like nations like Africa. There's no such thing as Africans. Okay, Africa, that's a Latin word. You know what I mean? There ain't no such thing as Africans. There ain't no such thing as Black. Irish people, German people. There ain't no such thing as Negroes. There's no such thing as white people. Black. There ain't no such thing as Chinese people. Mixed. What's that? Black mixed. Yeah, yeah, that's all just made up stuff. Yeah. According to the Bible, everybody got a, a nationality. Like like the Arabs over there, uh, the Arabs, they know that they did, they're Ishmaelites. They descend from Ishmael, they know that. That's part of their heritage and history, and they celebrate it. Just like uh, your boys, uh, the Ethiopians, they know they're Kushites. The Ethiop they know for a fact they're Kushites. And, they, and the Lord didn't come for them. The Lord didn't come for Hamites, the Kushites. He came for the Israelites. That's according to the Bible. I'm going to get another one. Because Matthew 15 and 24 said he only came for Israel. I'm going to get another one from Matthew. And in those Gentiles spoken of in the Bible, like Paul was teaching the Gentiles, those were Israelites that were scattered among the Gentiles and thought they were Gentiles. They was following the false gods. Because Israel got scattered. But like, uh, if you scattered among the heathens, that means you grew up your whole life and you've been living in a distant land for thousands and thousands of years away from your original lands and you have no idea where you're from. I'm going to get this... Uh, Matthew 10 and 5. Matthew 10 and 5. These tw it says these 12 Jesus, but we know through the Spirit, the Lord's true Hebrew name is Shai. Because Jesus is English. And the Greek text, text don't even say Jesus. It says, uh, how does it say it? Ice. Yeah, Iasis. It's like Iasis. That's what the Greek text says. And that's no, it's not even the same as Jesus. You know what I mean? It's not as it, wrong. The Lord's name is Yahweh Shai. It's not Yahshua. It's not Yeshua. It's not Jesus, sweet Jesus. Sweet Jesus, baby. 
Christos. The Lord's name is Yahweh Shai, and the Father's name is Yahweh. Yeah, Jesus Christos. Christos, Christos. Yeah, everybody says the Lord's name different. Every language it sounds different. Yeshua. But in the ancient Hebrew, it's Yahweh Shai. We know we can prove that for a fact. Uh, these twelve Yahweh Shai set forth and commanded them, saying, "Go not." Check that out. Go not into the way of the Gentiles. And into any city of the Samaritan enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The Lord only came for the Israelites. Now that's easy to prove. I'll get another one. Like you want to school someone on the Bible, just talk about that. Because it's so easy to prove. Uh, James 1 and 1. James, when that James was the uh, was the brother of Yahweh Shai. He was the brother of the, the uh, biological brother of the Lord. And this is what James had to say. And this is James 1 and 1. And this was who he was talking to. It says, James, a servant of God and of the Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, to the 12 tribes which were scattered abroad, greeting. So, See, so, yeah, James said that he was, that's who, because this was like an epistle. He wrote this epistle to be sent out. And, he, and at the beginning, just like when you write a letter, you write, Dear John, that's Dear John. Hey, dear whatever, you know what I mean? Dear Grandma. You know what I mean? I write my grandma letter. He, that's, what, that's pretty much what he said, James. And he said the letter was written to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad greeting. Because the 12 tribes got scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And the only way we know who an Israelite is for a fact is through the spirit. And the scripture said the eyes is the window through the soul. You know what I mean? Because not everybody is Israelite. Like a lot of people, you just can't receive. The truth ain't for everybody. And there are those people who are actually Israelites, but they ain't Israelites. They're demons and devils. And they're going to be destroyed. And the Lord said he's going to destroy, he's going to destroy two-thirds of Israel. And in that fire, but one third is going to be preserved. You got any precepts? Think I should go to? I got another one. I got. I got one. Luke, one. Luke 1, 27, right, I already got this one typed in. I'll get that next. Now this is uh, Paul, because people are always like, oh, you say Gentiles can't be saved, but Paul was teaching Gentiles. Yeah, Paul said there was no difference between a Jew and a Greek. Because uh, the Greeks, when, when you look into the Greeks, that was actually Hellens. And the Hellens were actually Israelites. They had lost their identity. I mean, that's why even why in the Greek gods, they got the 12 Titans. I don't know if you heard of the 12 Titans. But, hey, they got that from the 12 tribes of Israel. Even their alphabet comes from ancient Hebrew. When you look at the alphabet, every time you say the word alphabet, you're speaking Hebrew. Alpha means a thousand. Bet means a, a house, like Elizabeth. But that, every time you write out the alphabet, it's pretty much Hebrew. It's just a, a variant script. Because the English alphabet is very similar to ancient Hebrew. I'm about to say, uh, no, no. I'm about to say, uh, um, damn, I'm about to say, oh yeah, the Gentiles thing. This proves that we're the modern day Gentiles because if you ask somebody what's your nationality, you say African American. Now, what yeah, are they? Right. Just say this, they did the same thing back in the day. Yeah. Like, what are you? What are you? Uh, I'm a Greek. Because they've been in that land for so goddamn long. Right. They say they're Americans. Yeah. They, they're like I'm the a hell? redneck. How you American between you, you wasn't you know you your people ain't from here. You was you know you know everybody knows that damn history. You was brought here through slavery. Hey, that's the spirit too, because this scripture right here go into that. This is First Corinthians. Man, that, that's not acceptable. <laughs> what the hell? Look at that. Look at that. He on a whole other level. Step your shit up. 
crazy ass nigga. He probably makes some money doing that. He'd be tired as hell at the end of the night. Yeah. All right, let me read this. First Corinthians 12 and 1. Now concerning spiritual gifts, like to do what we do, it takes spiritual gifts. For us to be able to look at a person, I mean, some people, are, you just born with the gift. You can sense evil spirits. You know if somebody ain't right, you can just sense it. Like we can sense if somebody uh, is a heathen or an Israelite. We can just tell. It's like a spiritual gift. You can't even explain it, because I just know. You know what I mean? You can just look at a buddy, a person, and tell if they're eating them like that. Alright, now I'm in my scripture. Scroll up. Bro. First Corinthians 12 and 1. I'm going to read that again, right? Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I will not have you ignorant. Because we ain't going to let people be ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles. Ye were Gentiles carried away, carried away unto these dumb idols even as you would live. That's what happened to them Greeks, so-called Greeks. You know what I mean? They thought that, uh, they really thought they was Greeks. They really, they was carried away with them dumb idols. Because that's what happens when you follow a, a false religion. You get carried away. This thing, if you became a Buddhist, right, or something, and then your child just kept your tradition, and his child kept his tradition, and that just kept going on for thousands of years. Y'all don't move to China and shit. You know what I mean? And then uh, uh, 500 years later, y'all look like Chinese, you know, married Chinese women. Now y'all look like Chinese people. Yeah. That's what happened to Israel. It was carried away with them dumb idols yeah. and led it straight, and they forgot that they forgot their truth, their customs. They forgot the laws, statutes, commandments. They forgot their history. They started perverting their history. Hey, so it says carried away. So now what? Now what? Heathen nation got carried away into idols? Because I mean, if, if you were heathen, you're not gonna follow the Most High. You're gonna follow. I mean, you know, you born worshiping other gods. You know what I'm saying? So how the hell are you gonna be carried away to dumb idols? I'm gonna just do a word search on carried away. Yeah, that's not. That's not the care. That's not the. Uh, that's not the custom. I'm gonna do it. I did a word search on carried away. I'm gonna see if uh, go back to the Old Testament. See oh. if anything got that wording. In. Like what? Which, which heathen nation did you know that had the customs of the Israelites? None. So, or they can copy it, but I'm, you know what I mean. So, how can a heathen be carried away, you know, through slavery to dumb idols? It makes no damn sense. Obviously, I haven't, that's, that's talking about Israel. Because uh, uh, I think of Ezekiel, Ezekiel, some shit like that. Oh, here's, here's one. Oh, Jeremiah 52 and 30. In the three, three and twentieth year, Nebuchadnezzar, never, never. Oh, that's a tough word. Ne Nebuchadnezzar, the captain of the guard, carried away captive of the Jews seven hundred forty and five persons. All the persons were four thousand and six hundred. Well, they got, they got, cause, yeah, because Israel even got carried away in the captivity. You know what They uh, and there's even scriptures. And, and, yeah, in, in the same chapter, and then when Israel got carried away to Babylon, they even try to take their idols with them. Sorry. You know, the Babylonians would let them take stuff with them for their slavery. And it, it, they was even taking idols with them. I'm going to see if I can find that. But there you go. got much time. Oh, the camera's about to die. Yeah, because they had actual idols with them. That's how it, evil Israel is. The Lord took them into captivity. And they had that clutching onto their idols as they went. It, it, you gotta look up the word marrow doc. It was Marduk. Cameras dying, is it flashing? Yeah, the yellow thing. Salty. Salty. Okay, here it is right here. Uh, damn, damn it, Jeremiah 50. Jeremiah 50. 50. Jeremiah, boy. I got that Jeremiah. Oh, man, I, I, I'm failing. Jeremiah 15, 1, the word that Yahweh spoke, Yahweh is the most high, the Lord. Every time you see Lord in all caps, it's Yahweh in Hebrew. The word that Yahweh spake against Babylon and against the land of the Chaldeans by the Jeremiah the prophet. Declare ye among the nations, publish and set up a standard. That's what we're doing. Publish and conceal not, say Babylon is taken, Bel is confounded, Merodach is broken into pieces. He and her idols are confounded, her images are broken in pieces. I mean it right, cause the, the cause Israel was following them idols, and that, that's one of the reasons the Lord took them in. The